Okay, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the creation of a, a very simple fidget spinner. Um, I'm going to be covering some topics pretty quickly that are actually in the earlier videos. So um, if there are some things that you don't understand or that I go over too fast in this one, uh, just refer back to those, those earlier videos. Um, okay, so here's what I do. I, um, I, I bring out some pieces that I'm going to use over and over and so I'm going to get them kind of set up and then I'll show you how I just use uh, I'll leave them here as kind of like my supply list of things and then I'll make copies of them to create uh, to create the spinner so I know for example that in the 3d printers that we have that the bearing which is actually 22 millimeters in diameter if I make the hole 22 and a half millimeters that's about the right size to print out so that the bearing will fit in this hole snugly without needing any glue or anything like that and you don't have to hammer it in you can just plop it right in so this becomes the piece that I'll use that that the bearing will uh, be placed in okay and then I might grab another uh, cylinder just as a for sake of exercise I'll make this one um, 30 by 30 okay and the bearings themselves are seven millimeters tall and that actually prints out perfect uh, the, the ones I've done so far and I'll put this over here so just as an example let's just say we're creating a spinner and I want to um, arrange the points of the spinner in symmetrical or in evenly distributed uh, areas. So I'm going to take a copy of this and the way I do that if I just hold my option key down first and then click and drag I actually get a copy and I'll do the same thing with this one here. So that way I always have these to work from. They're the right size, they're what I need. Okay, I don't have to worry about their, their adjusting any dimensions on them. Um, so once I have one I can take it and I can align the centers this way. I'm not aligning I'm not aligning this center just these centers and for now I can um, I'm gonna leave it just like that I'm not gonna create a hole yet all right and so I put that there and let's just say I want another one um, across this across this way I'm gonna take the uh, option key and this time I'm gonna actually hold down the option and the shift key if I hold down both of those and I drag I can actually um, not only do I copy the object, I'm copying it and bringing it across at the same at the same um, lateral measurement, so it's exactly across. Otherwise, if I did, if I just held the option key down, let's do that without the shift. See, I, I can put it anywhere, and that's fine. But I actually wanted it exactly on the same level, so I, option and shift allows me to bring it across on the same level and for now I'm just going to uh, I'm not going to measure the distance because I just want to show you an example of what I'm about to do so let's just say that you were making a, a three point or a six point spinner if I take the two of these and I uh, duplicate them and the way I duplicate them is I hit command D what that does is it creates a second copy I can now rotate this second copy like this, okay? And notice closely that my mouse is inside this imaginary compass, this imaginary circle. And when the mouse is inside this circle, uh, the, the degrees that these move are every, I believe 45, let's see, 22 and a half. Every 22 and a half degrees, uh, it's moving in increments. But if I move my mouse outside the circle, I can now move by exact degrees, right? So um, if I were to make six points, that would be 360 degrees divided by six would be 60 degrees. So for every 60 degrees, I should get a new set of points, right? So I'm there, I'm gonna let go. And now here's the great thing. Because I did Command D to start with, and then I moved them 60 degrees, if I do Command D again, it creates another set at another 60 degrees. All right, I'm gonna do that one more time, just so we're, we're, we're clear on how that works. 
So I'm going to select my first two. I'm going to hold, uh, I'm going to hit Command D. It's going to duplicate that set. So now there's two sets there. I'm going to take this set using these rotation arrows. I'm going to move it out. Let's just say I moved it out 24 degrees. Okay, and then if I hit Command D, Command D, Command D, Command D, Command D, okay, it would create a bunch of them. So you once you create your initial one, you can create many more. I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to do this one more time at 60 degrees. Okay, and then if I do Command D, it creates the other one at another 60 degrees. So there I have a six point spinner or parts of a six point spinner ready to go. And if I wanted a three point spinner, the great thing is, well, I could just take these ones, I could take them out and I've got a three point spinner. All right, so with this six point spinner, uh, let's just say at this point, I want this to be, uh, I, I, wanna, I wanna group this now because I want to put a, I wanna put something in the middle. And I want to get it in the exact middle. So I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to group them. Okay, now they're one piece. Okay, and I'm going to take, let's say, another circle here, another uh, cylinder, sorry. And I'm going to open it up. I want it to be, let's say, I don't know, 50 by 50. So there's 50 by 50. I'm going to move it in there. Maybe that, maybe, yeah, that's a pretty good size. Okay, I want it to be seven millimeters tall. And now these aren't quite centered. So in order to center them, I can highlight everything, go to my align tool and align by centers again. Okay. And there now there's a, a pretty neat spinner already just like that. So this is just the beginning. Um, I just wanted to show you some very basic ideas of how to get started. The key thing to remember is um, you're going to be grouping things and ungrouping them quite often to do what you need to do. You're going to be setting aside your your basic shapes here so that you can copy them or option click them to create more when you need them. Um, and then just use your alignment tools and figure out your degrees. You know, for how many points you have, how many degrees are you going to turn something. So, all right, hopefully that'll help you to get started on your fidget spinner and we'll go from there.